Hello gents and ladies, or uh, whoever is watching. Bit of a different video today. I've got a, uh, a Vauxhall Corsa 54 plate here. Um, just gonna just take you along with me really. This is a little repair I've got to do on it. Just, just got a day off and I thought, oh, I might as well make a video whilst I'm at it as well actually. So, but what we've got is, we've got a, um, a heater that is only working on setting four. As you can see, one, two, three, four is the only one that's working. So, I've done a couple of these before, not on a course of C, but on other vehicles, and nine times out of ten, it's the heater blow up resistor, which is one of these here. Just got this on the internet. Um, so, this is most likely the culprit. I mean, it could be the switch or wiring, but. I've always, most of the time, seen that it's the actual fan resistor that goes faulty in here. So, um, so what it is, I'm just going to uh, just take the glove box out and the, the lower kick panel out and uh, just search for it really and just see whereabouts it is and hopefully it's a quick, nice repair. So I'm just going to take the old one out, put the new one in and fingers crossed that the fan will be working on settings one to four again. So, just see how it goes really. I'll uh, be back in a minute. So, first things first, we have a Torx 20, these are. So, here and here. And uh, we have underneath another one here to take out and that one to take out. So, I'm just going to crack on and get these bad boys out of here and hopefully get the glove box out and see where we're looking. So the Torx 20 bolts are removed, there's only four, two in the top left and right corner and then two at the bottom here and then once they are out, simply just glove box just move literally like that, nice and easy. So right, let's um, look under here, so here is your heater fan and we need to locate the actual resistor for that. So. Uh, I'll have a little search around and I'll uh, be back in a second when I've located it and hopefully it should just be a pull out pull in job hopefully. Oh dear, well I've located the heater fan resistor and I found something actually quite worrying. So as you can see there is where it was supposed to be, I haven't touched this at all and what's happened here is it's actually fell out of where it's actually supposed to be located, you can see there where it's supposed to sit. And it's actually fell out there and as you can see it's actually melted or burnt a bit of the foam insulation on the firewall so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this kick panel here it's actually already got the bolt missing there and uh, so it's literally just going to be this one to take out and then I should be able to remove this side kick panel just to get a better look in there just to show you guys but obviously that's what's happened there so it's fell out and probably burnt the actual resistor and uh, well, that's probably what's caused it to fail, but I just want to have a check of the wiring and check of this surrounding area, make sure nothing's actually burnt too badly or anything like that. So I'll just get this kick panel out and then I'll, uh, I'll show you more closely. Yeah, to, to remove this kick panel, what it would be is a screw there and a screw there, and it should. He says, sounds like it's on some clips too. Just, let's get this out of the way. I didn't remove the actual kick paddle completely. I've just sort of like pushed it and bent it out of the way and it stayed there. I don't need to remove it completely, but here's a better look up here. So this is my resistor. As you can see, these resistors, by the way, they get extremely hot. That's what the whole point of these are, they're resistor. So, they just disperse the heat, it should sit upstream, actually within the fan, the cold air rushing past this resistor is actually designed to cool it down because they do get extremely hot and uh, that's what they do, they just step the voltage down for 3, 6, 9 and then obviously setting fours like full 12 volts to the fan and uh, so yeah really this is, is there any damage on it, we can see it's just got some heat damage there but Actually, because sometimes they burst out, you can see like 
get you out of casing bursts open when they fail but I'm gonna obviously change it anyway but I mean it doesn't like it's actually caused any damage up in there but obviously that that was quite a hazard really that could have easily caused a fire as you can see that foam there's got extremely hot so I'm just gonna unplug it which all you do is is just these two little tabs here push them in and then this multi-plug should I'm trying to do this with one hand I'm filming this on my phone back in a minute but oh you, you get the id just squeeze them two tabs in and pull the plug out so the plugs removed and this is our old resistor this actually looks like a second hand part because it's got the course of c written on there we'll see which what this car is and um yeah so let's just compare the two i'll plug this in hopefully it clips into the housing nicely and then uh, we can just test our a fan and make sure it all works properly. So it just literally lives up in there. Sort of sits this tab sits at the back, facing the steering wheel. So it sits in there like that, and then it, you just scoot it forward, and it clips in. It's a little clip where it just jumps up and over the little ridge there. So once that's in, obviously I'm just going to make sure it doesn't fall out at all, which that's nice and sturdy. I don't know how. The other one fell out, so I've never seen that one hanging out. Obviously, someone's not fitted it correctly. As you say, that was quite dodgy, really. So, once that's in, like so, just simply plug the multi plug back in. It's a bit stiff to get that plug in now, actually, that's a lot wiggle it a bit whilst pushing it, but it's nice and in there now. The resistor's still in its place, nice and sturdy. Right, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and test the fan and ensure that has actually fixed it. So the ignition on. There we go, setting one. So. Yep, setting one's working. Setting two, you can hear it. Setting three. So setting four. Lovely, so that's prepared it as I thought it would because nine times out of ten it's always the heater resistor that fails and this one doesn't actually even look like it's burst out at all so it's obviously internally where that's fouled there so it's nice and easy fix really so I'm just going to put the glove box or put the kit panel back into place put the glove box back in it's an absolute doddle especially on these cars to show you again where that's the heater just the lives, it's under there. This is how to do it. I'll change one on a Vauxhall Corsa C. Happy days. So just a quick update. Just before I've decided to put this back together, I thought it'd be a good idea just to pull the the blower fan out, the blower motor and fan assembly out, and just to quickly have a, an inspection just to make sure there's no leaves in that because sometimes you can get some leaves or something in here, and this was actually squeaking sometimes or squealing on setting four. Um, it was making this high pitch whistling noise. So I thought I'll just quickly pull this out, which is nice and easy to do. All there is is four bolts. Um, this was actually held in by two because someone's definitely been here and not put this back together like it should. So I'll just quickly show you. So you've got one there, one there, one in the corner there, and one at the back. And then it's just one electrical connection that just simply just pulls off. There's no tab to squeeze or anything like that. And on this one there wasn't anyway. And uh, so, that's to get the blower fan out. And I did notice there was a little bit of corrosion on the actual top part there, which is the bearing. And now this was hard to, to spin. Um, so what I done was, uh, I just got some just lubricating oil and just lubricated the bearing. Um, just some engine oil, I just dripped a little bit down there just to lubricate it properly and now I'm gonna monitor this it potentially probably will need a new blower motor or fan uh, the motor assembly to be renewed because the bearing starting to fail that's probably just gonna start uh, failing again but this is my girlfriend's car so I, I will just monitor it and see how it's getting on uh, it was probably a mixture between the actual blower fan starting to seize up and then the actual resistor hanging out there which caused the resistor to foul anyway because naturally if this is starting to seize up it's going to put much more load 
on the resistor, therefore causing it to fail prematurely. So I do recommend when doing a resistor, just pull the fan out of here and then just inspect the free movement. Now it spins lovely since I've uh, uh, lubricated that there. I mean, it was actually very stiff. So, um, so yeah, I do advise just quickly pulling it out for the sake of four bolts. All they are is a, uh, I think what size are they? They're six mil and they're literally just finger tight. You can just get that up there and undo it. Fans should just fall out. Oh, sorry, and there is also some duct in here at the top just to pull out. It's just you held in by one little clip. Just pull the top up, pull the clip out, and this duct in that sits up here literally just um, pulls out there. So I do recommend doing that as well just to inspect that because if the fan starts to seize up, you're only going to go through another heater resistor quite soon. Okay, so now this is all done, I'm just going to literally put it all back together and then the job's done. The blower motor's back in. I've also put some, put some bolts in there. Just need to fit this clip to hold this duct in. I do this one handed, it's really not easy. But as you see, the duct in just sits like that, so it's easy to get that out to get the blower fan out if you, if you want to go ahead and check it. And I did say that it's just before bolts that it should fall out, but my one did because the clip there was broken. So just keep an eye out for if you do actually go ahead and do it. There's probably some clips to just pull open and the fan should just drop out. Right, kick panels all back in. Just, just say one screw there and then one screw there. And my one's missing. Uh, it screws into a little clip, otherwise I would just put a screw in, but I, doesn't, I do not have one of those little clips. As you can see, the little blue ones are similar to that. So next thing, put your glove box back in. It should just slides in. Pushes up, and then you've got your screws there just to fit. And that's all in, lovely. So that is it, guys. I you just got to put the carpet back in. And um, the tools you will need for the job is obviously I just used a, just a torch, just so you obviously can see better. I did use a trim tool for the ducting for the footwell vents because uh, there was a little clip there but you can just get a flat blade screwdriver and just pop that up just to get that out. Um, I've used a extension with a 6mm socket that was to get the fan assembly out it's just 6mm bolts literally just finger tight they are but it's best just to nip, nip them up just only very because it's only screwed into plastic so just literally nipping the tiniest bit just quarter inch ratchet I used a ratchet screwdriver just to get my the uh, the bolts to hold the glove box and that in, and uh, and a T20. So it's just a Torx 20 bit, which looks like that. So I just obviously popped into the screwdriver. If you literally, if you've got one of them little power things, like a little Bosch drill, that would make your life easy and even easier. One of these things are awesome. But mine's one out of battery. I haven't used it in so long. So it was all hand tools day for me today. So not many tools at all needed for the job, and it's nice and simple. But yeah, that is literally it. So that is how to replace the heater resistor, um, which will be the cause if you literally only get settings for working on your fan. That'd be the uh, nine times out of 10, it's always a heat resistor that goes faulty. And, uh, and also I've just covered there how to remove the fan and what to check for. It's always best just to check for any debris in the fan or to see if it's starting to seize up, which my one is starting to, but I have lubricated the bearing, which has freed it up nicely. I will monitor it and see how it gets on, but um, yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and that's how to replace a heater resistor on a Vauxhall Corsa C, which is an absolute doddle to do. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one.